your dreaming. Did you really win? Did you come first? As the saying goes, winning isn't just everything. It's the only thing. I mean to say, if winning isn't so important, then why do we keep the score? Coming second is like a first place loser. Do we even remember those who come second? Take Tenzing Norgan, together with Sir Edmund Hillary, they were the first men to climb Mount Everest. Colonel Hunt, the expedition leader, stated, they reached it together, as a team. But journalists kept asking, who was first? Who had the glory of first place? And who was just second? The follower. Tenzing Norgay replied, if it is a shame to be the second man on Mount Everest, then I will have to live with that shame. Hillary was knighted by the Queen, <coughs> but not to Norway. As Abba says, the winner takes it all. What about Buzz Aldrin? <coughs> he was one of the first men to land on the moon. He was one step behind Neil Armstrong. How did they even choose who got out of the rocket first? They could have just played paper, scissors, moon rock for all we know. But everyone remembers Neil Armstrong as the first man on the moon. <coughs> Neither of these men could have achieved what they did on their own. Both conquests win every sense a team effort, and yet we only seem to be able to remember certain individuals. Do we want to be like Dennis Connor, the American <coughs> sailor who told Team New Zealand to get off the stage, losers, and the America's Cup will get her? New Zealand had come second. Not last. Whatever happened to first the worst? Second the best, anyway. Maybe I think recognising second place is especially important because I'm the second child. <laughs> like other second needs, I feel as though we somehow get squeezed out. In my case, <coughs> I'm my older sister who gets to do everything first. And by my younger sister, who just gets plain spoiled. Look at me. I mean, look at me. Sometimes they even forget to feed me. Oh, if they don't watch out, I'll just fade away altogether. <coughs> it is not always easy to make your mark when you're the second child. Although, I do take first prize for some things in our family. No one beats me for being last out of bed in the mornings. I'm way in front on that score. So let's not forget Norgay and Aldrin. Let's not forget the importance of those who came second, and in doing so, allowed others to come first. And importantly, Mum, let's not forget to spoil the second child more often. So next time you watch a race, take a second to reflect on the power of second place. Because I hope you now see that every 